Hello and welcome to Toxic Nurse channel. I have a laptop here. I installed Windows 10 from scratch and have no Wi-Fi now as no Wi-Fi signal proper one anyway. It's HP 250 G4 laptop and it actually seems to be common problem with these laptops. I did uh, a lot of Googling actually to find workaround and actually it's more simple than you would think. I show you now here I have it, it my Wi-Fi will show up. It's grayed out. Usually it'd be white there where the bars are. I'm typing in my password and it's still going to be, it, it can't even connect to it. That's how weak the signal is. So as a workaround, actually it's not a workaround. It's a probably <laughs> proper way of doing it. You'd have to get a second device laptop if you have a PC and go and download driver from HP website. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm opening up the browser on my PC. I'm gonna just type in HP 250 G4 drivers and hopefully Google will guide me to the right direction. Okay, there we have the first link there, click on it. I'm gonna leave the link in the description anyway. And uh, choose your network driver and Broadcom Wireless LAN driver it is for Windows 10. Download that. It's going to take a few seconds, minutes, depends what you're using, what internet speed you have there. And uh, one more thing, you'd probably have to save that to your USB stick to bring over to your laptop. That's what I did anyway. If you have any other way, go ahead. Whatever way suits you, I'm just showing the way I'm doing it to get it work finally. Okay, that's downloaded now. So copy that file into your USB stick and go back to your laptop, plug in your USB stick and uh, you probably, you just have to install it from there and hopefully it will work for you. Probably no harm to update actually BIOS on your laptop as well. Okay. There we have it. Just going to click on it. Okay. Just click next. Accept the terms. Next again. Next. It's going to take a few minutes probably for you to install. My laptop wasn't the fastest one, so it did take me a minute or two. But it's worth it. You're going to get your Wi-Fi working, no problem. Click next again. Yeah, as you see, it's slow enough now. I didn't speed up the video either for that. No, I did speed up in some points when I downloaded because the speed wasn't the greatest at the time anyway. So, okay. That's installed now. So your Wi-Fi should be, you should have good signal now. Okay, there we go. You see it's all white now. So, well, mostly anyway. So I'm going to type in my password here and hopefully it will work. Okay. And that's it. Your wireless should be working now. In my case now, my laptop froze for whatever reason that was, but it is working. So hopefully this is helpful for someone. It took me a good few minutes actually to do all the Googling. So thanks for watching and have a good life. Subscribe.